Hi, this is Claire, and we're going to look at some angles that we sometimes use with Pythagoras and trigonometry. The first angles we're going to look at are in the vertical plane. And we'll have to imagine some scenarios. So imagine you're on top of a bunk bed here, and you look down and you see the $2 coin you've just dropped. So here is the horizontal line that your eye is on, like your eye level line. And this is your line of sight to the middle of the coin. So you're looking down from the horizontal. So we call that an angle of depression. So that's an angle of depression. And we'll call it theta. Now in this second scenario, just say you're walking along in the park and you see a beautiful kite flying. So here's your eye level line, which is on the horizontal, and your line of sight straight up to that kite, to the center of the kite, is upwards. So that's called an angle elevate of elevation. Oh, Drat, I spelt it incorrectly. Fixing it up. Okay, so these are the angle of depression is measured down from the horizontal and the angle of elevation is measured up from the horizontal. So sometimes these can happen simultaneously or at the same time. And if they do, we look for a set of parallel lines. So here's a set of parallel lines and I'll just mark that they're parallel using a little single arrow. So this is another scenario. And in this scenario here, we have the sea level and we have a cliff. And just imagine that you're on top of the cliff and here's your position here. And down on the sea, we have a boat and there's some people in the boat and there they are. Okay, so now if they happen at the same time, the line of sight will be the same line. So here's the line of sight, you looking at the boat and the people in the boat looking at you. And that's just like a transversal cutting a set of parallel lines. So let's have a look at the angle of depression. Here it is down here. So that's an angle of depression. Theta. And at the same time these people are looking up at you and that's an angle of elevation. So we have a second set of parallel lines here, this set, and we'll just put the parallel lines on those two. So you have a transversal and you have a Z angle here. So the Z angles, as you might remember, between parallel lines are called alternate angles. So these are alternate angles and they are equal in size. So that if they happen simultaneously, and they often do, so the, the angle of elevation will be equal to the angle of depression because you are using the horizontal lines in both cases. So these are words that are used to describe angles that happen in a vertical plane. And in the next tutorial, I'll talk to you about some angles that happen in the horizontal plane. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.